Our own Richard Wilkins has tested positive to coronavirus after meeting with Hollywood star Rita Wilson. Yeah, this comes as today extra host David and Belinda spent the weekend in isolation awaiting their results. We'll speak to David and Belinda in just a moment, but first to Richard Wilkins who joins us via FaceTime. Good morning, good sir. How are you? I'm surprisingly and very well, Carl. A Ali, good morning to you. Good morning to everybody. Look, I... You could have knocked me over with a feather last night when I got that call. It, it, it took me a couple of minutes to, to reel from the news that they gave me, but I feel fine. I feel 100%. I feel the same as I always feel. I, I don't have a sore throat. I don't have a runny nose. I don't have a headache. I feel terrific, and yet I've obviously contracted this thing and tested positive for it. So this is... This is what's actually, you know, in my mind a bit scary, Dickie, is that, you know, you were feeling completely fine, you had none of the symptoms, um, and then it just sort of makes me wonder if, if, if you're out there with a, with a positive result, are there perhaps others who don't know they've got coronavirus? Well, I wouldn't have got tested out. I went and saw Rita, and we're assuming this is from Rita. It may not be. I mean, they've all said it could be anyone, anywhere, anytime, such as the prevalence of this thing. But I went and saw Rita briefly at the Opera House. She was in your studio, as you know, this time last week, rehearsing during the commercial breaks for a performance on the, on the, the Today Extra. And, um, you know, I was having a chat to her, and, you know, that's probably my best guess as to what happened. But... Uh, you know, it's it's it is as you say, a terrifying. Thought. And I wouldn't have got tested unless you know I posted a selfie and we thought, well, we should go and get tested. And once you've got tested, you need to wait for the result. So I had a weekend at home, which, as you know me well enough to know, that a bit of self isolation, I never mind. <laughs> um, but you know, here here I am, and last night having to having to call my my kids um, and, and tell them the stuff wasn't wasn't much fun. Mm. Um, that, and, you know, the weird thing is that the only what you want to do more than anything in the world is, is hug your kids at a time like this, and that's the last thing you can do. But, you know, if there's a message there. Rita's... You, this is wild. This will blow you away. Rita's band leader and guitarist who was in the studio, who I actually introduced you to, Carl, mm -hmm. he's back in the States. He can't get tested until he, he shows symptoms over there. Mm. And his wife works in a hospital. So Ali's point is well made. God knows, especially in America, I hate to say, that there could be a lot of people wondering. I'm not suggesting he is for a second, but, you know, when you can't even get tested and you've mm. been working with someone who has tested positive is a, is a terrifying thought, isn't it? It's, it seems to me, Dickie, um, and this is why it's very difficult, because they don't know everything about this and how it's transferred and transmitted at this Nobody point. Nobody does. No, Nobody and, does. And, and you and I spoke at length um, on, on last Monday uh, and to the band leader, and you also spoke to Ali, um, but they say um, that, that if we're not showing any symptoms or signs, then, then it's quite feasible that we don't have it. No. I don't think you. I yeah. don't think you've got it. I, you know, everybody I've spoken to, they, they've said, "Well, you're not. You're not going to pass it on until two days before you show, started showing symptoms. When did you get sick?" And I said, "I'm not sick. Yeah. I don't have any symptoms." And they said, "Well, you, you may not have. You know, maybe I'm going to get sick tomorrow. I don't know. I'm almost sort of like waiting for something to happen." Yeah. Um, but you know, I, they've also said that. In the early days, they didn't think people were asymptomatic, but it now turns out that they are. So, I mean, if I can say anything to, to anybody, if, if, if this is as... Obviously, it can get worse than this, but if, if this is what it's like, then so far, so good, dare I say. Hey, and Dickie, you were saying, you know, when you, when you told the kids about the um, positive test result, what was, what was their reaction and what does it now mean for them and, and, and your kids that you have come in contact with? Do they now need to self-isolate mm. for a certain period of time? Do they now need to go and get tested, even if, even if they're not showing symptoms either? Well, I haven't seen... I haven't seen... The only one I've seen um, in the last couple of weeks, which is a bit sad, isn't it? Um, <laughs> The, the only one I've seen in the last couple of weeks was Christian, who, of course, is based in Melbourne doing, doing the dancing show. He came home briefly on last Tuesday and raced, raced upstairs. He was exhausted, and then we, we, we didn't see each other on Wednesday, and then he was back in Melbourne. I, I called him after, after his show last night, and he was, um, and still is, you know, very, very upset, obviously. And, um, you know, he's, he's going to get tested in, in an hour, uh, and, and fingers crossed... He'll be OK, which I'm sure he is. Um, but, you know, it's not a pleasant conversation to have to have with the people you love most in the world. Tiki, um, I, I feel for you. I genuinely mm. do. I and mean, we love you so much. Um, and, and I think that's the hardest thing, is, that, is that, you, that you feel like, oh, my God, I mean, you can't do anything about getting this. 
but it's who that might, might, might get it from you that you feel most aggrieved about. Yeah, well, that's, that's weird. You feel sort of guilty and embarrassed almost. You know, I went and did a piece with Fitzy and Whipper, the, the wacky Sydney radio guys on Nova last Thursday morning, and, and they're off air today. I had to ring them last night and say, hey, guys, guess what? So, you know, the ripple effect of this thing is enormous. And, um, you know, I just I, I pray to God I can get rid of mine, and I just pray to God I haven't well, no one else has got it because of, of me, but, you know, everyone's, everyone I know in the whole wide world has contacted me in the last uh, last 12 hours, I suppose. Um, and I, I keep saying I'm sorry, and they say, hey, it's not your fault. Mm. This thing is not because of you. And I, that's, I think that for the people who have got it, I think that's important to... I mean, I'm sure Tom and Rita feel bloody terrible. Yeah, yeah. Mm. They've done nothing wrong. No one's done anything wrong. We're all in this together. The one thing I would... I do think, is you know me, guys, I'm pretty, you know, I live a relatively healthy lifestyle. I go to the gym. I've been working out on the treadmill over the weekend. Um, yeah. You know, I think having a good immune system is probably incredibly important in, in dealing with this thing if, if you're unlucky enough to cop it, All I right. think. Well, Dickie, go well. We love you so mm -hmm. much. Um, and, and we'll be in contact uh, during, uh, during the day and, and night and, uh, and take yeah. care of yourself. Indeed. Good on you. Well, Thanks, guys. See well, of course, Richard was um, only one a number of staff who came into contact with Rita Wilson during her time on the Today set. And uh, David Campbell joins us now via Skype. David, um, I believe you've got some welcome news, though. Yeah, welcome news. I, I got my test results back yesterday, um, and I'm so sorry for Richard and other people who have different results. I got not detected. Now, I asked them what not detected means. They said, you're not detected for any coronavirus. I'm like, so that's not negative? They said... No, that's not detected. I'm like, cool. Um, but they're saying that this is a false negative result um, and that potentially I might need to stay in isolation for a few more days, although there is some mixed messaging about that, um, depending on the frequency of how long you've spent with the person and how much contact you had with the person that uh, someone like Rita Wilson, who apparently is patient zero here in Australia in the entertainment industry, bless her heart. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so that's it is a absolutely a, a, a positive result, I guess. No, a negative result, but it's not a full negative. <laughs> it's a great it's not result, detected. is what we call it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you've said um, DC from the start, um, and, and you've been through this. Uh, uh, you've you've outlined to everyone at home, given everyone everyone a really mm. a, a great feel for what it, what it is like being at home with with kids and how hard it has been through several days. Um, that was hard not knowing, but even now, um, how do you feel about it? I feel um, strange. I feel better about it. Um, I definitely feel like um, that the self-isolation and, and doing that is the right thing. A friend of mine has also ha uh, been diagnosed as positive, and then someone that he met with was uh, contacted by the New South Wales Department of Health, and he, even though that person had just contacted him for a meeting and, and had like a half-hour meeting with him, that person's had to self-isolate, but then they've said don't test. So there's still some fixing, there's still some wrinkles in the messaging I feel that needs to be going out there. What does non-detected actually mean? Why haven't we heard that before? Um, do we need to test or do we not? Or do we just self-isolate? Um, I'm actually, got, Lisa and I have decided to keep our kids home now. Um, I was going to send them this morning, but we spoke about it overnight and I was in consultation with the school. I decided that until we have a definitive answer, and I think probably a lot more people are going to be doing this, um, that we're going to keep our kids uh, away from school just because they've been in contact with me. What if this false negative result becomes a positive? Um, they've also been in contact with somebody else now who's in isolation. So I'm trying to protect the community by doing the right thing. Okay. Yeah, right. Well, thanks for joining us this morning. So we're going to check in now with Belinda because, uh, Belinda, we're very happy to hear too that you are also in the clear. Um, but... Like, how, how has it sort of played out over the last couple of days? I know that, um, you know, your kids, they couldn't go to ballet classes last week because there was some resistance from, from parents, which I guess in the circumstances is understandable. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, I fully understand that. And I, and I remember on the Friday morning, I called their primary school just to say, look, this is the advice from the hospital. Um, despite me being in self-isolation, the advice was that the kids are still fine to go to school. Um, and their policy was, yes, they can come to school because uh, they haven't had contact with a confirmed case. So they went to school. But I said to the school as well, I said, but listen, I totally understand. If you um, want to be cautious, um, I'm happy to keep the girls home 
from school. Um, so, and then, yes, the ballet school just called to sort of say, look, we've had lots of emails. I said, to totally understand. Um, we'll keep them home. So uh, now that we've had the negative result, and but this is the this is the hard thing as a parent because I know that uh, I spoke to DC yesterday and he's like, yep, kids are going to school tomorrow. And then this morning or overnight, he and his wife have made that decision to keep them at home. And so, and my husband and I had we had made the decision right. It's negative or not detected. So uh, the the advice still is they're fine to go to school. But then now you start thinking, well, hang on a minute. If other people are making the decision to keep the kids at home, does that make me yeah. an irresponsible parent? Yeah. Uh, so, so it's really, it's really tough. And mm. you don't want your kids to, to cop any flack either, do you? At school mm. as well, it's very difficult at the moment. Um, Belinda, thank you so much.